Hello, St. Paul's members and friends. Pastor Russert here, uh, giving Adam a little break for this midweek devotion. And uh, back to my rudimentary approach here on my on my machine. Um, have no fear. Adam will be back at the helm for our, our worship video this coming weekend. But um, I guess kind of an appropriate platform here to share with you a devotion called Back to Basics. I was nervous last week. For 24 hours, I had to live without my computer. I do everything on this machine, as Pastor Linders affectionately calls it, which is perhaps why the internal cooling fan began to break down and start sounding like a chainsaw trying to cut through concrete. So with no machine that evening last week, it was back to basics. I could not refresh news headlines for the seventh time that day. I couldn't go to MLB.com with this desperate hope that there might be some kind of baseball scene uh, season salvaged later in the summer. I couldn't read random articles. I couldn't check and send emails. Just some books there on my table, a pen and paper. I got a random phone call from a friend that I suddenly was available to accept. It was back to basics. It was the most balanced evening I've had in weeks. That evening without my machine. And I loved it. The spiritual life is more unlearning than learning. This crisis has forced us to unlearn a great deal. Unlearning the frenetic pace of life, of travel, of an overscheduled week, of overprogramming our children's childhood, unlearning a routine that hasn't served us well for years. The spiritual life is more unlearning than learning. It's a call back to basics. Jesus called his disciples to follow him, and as it says in the Gospels, immediately they left their nets and follow him. He told them to bring with them nothing. Jesus said, follow me at Matthew's tax booth. And he got up, he left everything, and he followed him. It was back to basics in the spiritual life, in the life of following Jesus, more unlearning than learning. I have a hunch that in the present season of life, God is calling you to unlearn something, calling you back to basics somewhere in your life, to unlearn a behavior, a pattern, or a routine that has complicated your life and brought very little joy to you and those around you. A call back to walking, perhaps. An invitation to dinner with your family every night. A call back to cooking, to checking in on a friend, a call to begin or end your day with a prayer or some spiritual reading or a quiet meditation. The word you might meditate on is basics, back to basics. And so I invite you, take some time today to reflect on what God might be calling you to unlearn. I'd be happy to have your computer or your phone taken away for 24 hours if it would help you hear God's call back to basics.